Hey, hey, it's me again. I'm back with another tech chat. So in this video, I will show you three, yes, I said three different ways to create a banner. So we're going to start with PicMonkey. If you want this template, I will leave it down in my description box, but it is on Google as well. So I'm just blocking off the area that I don't want to put any images in. So I just picked the square from the overlay option and I'm just ad adjusting it and copying it. I can't even talk. Copying and pasting that area. So now let's zoom in and let's get started. So I choose my background color. And next I choose my font that I wish to have. And I make adjustments. And of course I put some more font, just talking about what I'm going to be doing on my channel. I like to make my banner sweet and simple. Not too much text, not too many images. Right now I'm just adjusting the color. And I'm gonna make, a, uh, not make, I'm going to put an arrow in it as well, just to make it pretty. And as you see right here, I'm measuring it so it can be the same size on both sides. Now I'm changing the drop shadow to match the text. And there you go, first design, simple and easy. So now let's do a next one. I'm gonna show you how to add a photo to your banner. You're gonna go to the collage and select your photo. You're gonna drag and drop in this area. You're gonna adjust it as well. You're gonna go to the paint icon and where it says corner. You're gonna just slide that. There you go. Really simple. And you just add it to your background like so. And here's how to apply it to your YouTube channel. All right, so I'm gonna use Canva for my design number two. They actually have templates already, so I just select the one that says YouTube banner template. It already has the sizes that you need. Once it loads, you're gonna see a lot of different layouts. I chose the one that says, I don't even know what that says, it's so small. <laughs> I chose the one that says background and then I chose my text and you can change the color you can change the size this one is very simple as well you see the texture background doing the same thing like I did in pink monkey honestly that's all it is that's my second design design number three on your way and here's how it looks on YouTube number three I went to layouts one more time I chose the one that I want and then I just removed the photo because I didn't like the photo that it chose and then I typed in the text that I want to be displayed on my banner In a few moments, you'll see that in Canva, they have different Facebook icon, like social media icons that you can choose. And I'm going to add those to my banner. Right now, I'm just adjusting the color that I want. See, and you can just adjust it. You can also change the color of these as well. So I'm going to measure the size of each of the icons so they can be the same. But I realized these are too big, so I had to make them smaller.
and you can put as many or as less icons as your heart desires. Now for the color change. Now I'm about to add some text to my social media icons. And I'm just going to copy and paste it so I don't have to retype everything out. You'll see me do that in a second. And you see the lines that means you're like in the center of the icon. Now I'm just changing the font. All right, there you have it. There goes the third design in Canva. And I'll also leave that link down below as well. And here's how it looks. It's kind of cut off on the desktop, but if you watch it on the TV, you can see it. But that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you click the like and the subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on my next one.